the US, USDD stablecoin was launched on May 5th, right? And um, it, it's crazy how quick it's going up. And basically, as you can see here, more than 3.38 billion Tron have been burned to have the pack. I mean, if you look at how the uh, this stablecoin works, um, it's, it's a very interesting mechanism. And um, I think this decentralized stablecoin is absolutely needed in the ecosystem and could get a big part of the, of the stablecoin volume in the future. So we really have to look what's happening with USDD in the future. Absolutely. And this, like you just said, is probably one of the reasons why Tron was performing so well in the past few days. But that is, do people still trust in stable coins? I mean, you just talked about UST going to zero, basically. And no, that was Luna going to zero. UST, I think, is still somewhere around. Um, let me just check on the chart. I think UST isn't there. I mean, it is bad. It's supposed to be a stable coin, right? It should be $1. But I think I, I saw it earlier today at um, 37 cents. Yeah, we're still at 37 cents. And I mean, it's it, it, it's going crazy. Like you, you think you have a stable coin and um, it, it went down yesterday to uh well let me check to 30 cents and now we are 37 cents and it's crazy it's just crazy what's happening in the market and you say and as you say are people still trusting in stable coins and uh, this is a fair question you know because stable coins there's always been a little mystery especially around tether and do they really have the backing or not and uh, seeing the tether lose ex lose its pack to the one dollar yesterday and today, uh, going to a low, I think, of 95 cents or so, was a little scary because if uh, just imagine if Tether implodes, I'd say it's game over for the crypto market uh, for a while because Tether has uh, the biggest trading volume of all coins. It has double the volume, trading volume than Bitcoin. So it's every exchange trades Tether. And it's crazy if something would happen to that. And um, I really welcome a new stable current on the Tron blockchain with USDD. I think that's something we really need. And we need to get more, need to get more decentralized in a decentralized manner. And that's something we really want to support, you know? And um, let's see how USDD develops, if it will grab some of those people who are basically not tr trusting that much into Tether because I've re received a lots, of lots, of, lots of messages as well from people telling me or telling um, their audience as well, hey, switch from Tether to USDC. And I've seen uh, countless transactions where people basically switching their Tether to USDC, taking a loss. And uh, like, it, it was crazy. Like, it's really cra crazy what's happening in the crypto market. And the, the trust issue is really a big one. So let's see which stable coin will be coming out on top in the near future. And I think that the USDD is really in a great position to become one of the biggest stable coins in the market in the future. I mean, people are used to uh, using tr um, Tether or a stable coin on the Tron network because you see it here in the screenshot, over 42 billion, 42.7 billion Tether are on the blockchain, which is almost half of all the Tether, uh, which is pretty amazing. So people are used to the Tron blockchain and um, these are when it comes to stable coins, which is pretty amazing. But uh, like we just said, it just got started a few days ago um, and it's already a 100, a top, almost top 100 token on coin market cap. So Justin Zun did a great job launching this. We can also reflect it in the price.